Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll be explaining the pocket technology of Hatch. Now, in this operation, I'd like to mill out this pocket as shown over there. So I'll start my new two and a half the operation of pocket. I'll choose my geometry, this chain over here. I'll choose my tool. In this case, I'll choose a four millimeter end mill. And my levels, I'll set it to the bottom of that pocket over there. Now let's go into our technology field. In our technology field, we'll choose the option this time of hatch. We have here hatch and hatch plus finish, and I'll explain both of them. Let's first, however, start off with hatch. Hatch, as shown in the diagram over here, goes back and forth in straight lines over that surface itself. Now, if we also go into the hatch tab, as shown over here, we have two ways of defining the direction that it works in. We can either do user-defined angle, where we decide at what angle we want to work at, or we can have automatic optimal angle where it finds the most optimal angle on that particular pocket to go in. Now let's take a look at the top view of this pocket itself. As you'll note, the pocket itself is going off at a specific angle. Now if I were to do it using the manual method, then I would have to define what angle do I actually want it to work on. However, if I were to do it on automatic, it will actually find what's the best angle for it to work at. And if I want, I can also deviate it by a delta value in the angle itself. Let's go and just take a quick look at the simulation. Now, looking at the simulation, you'll see the tool will go down and work exactly in the best possible tool path that can be done with the proper angle for that hatch operation. Now note, however, these edges over here are left with a spike because there's no tool path going in over here. Now, if I want the tool to actually clean off along these edges as well, what we can do over there is change it from hatch to hatch plus finish. By doing that, when I run my simulation, you'll see that the tool will do the exact same toolpath it did before, but when it finishes the toolpath, it'll also go one pass around, clearing off all of these areas as well. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.